With the FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup qualifier event now underway, last-minute plans now begin for the upcoming exhibition match between Tottenham Hotspur and Jamaica's national team, the Reggae Boys. Normally, we're able to take events like this to bring a lot of uh, heads and beds, as we call it. But this particular event has a greater dimension because it's going to be film and televised to many countries in the world. But it's also going to, because of the involvement of Albany, who has ownership uh, in both Tottenham and Albany, it's going to bring the opportunity to get greater investment by those players in the Bahamian economy. President of the Bahamas Football Association, Anton Seeley, says that his organization will take care of all the day of game protocol, which includes organizing the match, supplying the match officials, and everything related to the playing of the game. It's a match, he says, includes some of the best players in the world. Well, Tottenham Hotspur, as I indicated earlier, one of the premier clubs in the English Premier League. In fact, all over the world, they're a very storied franchise with a lot of history, uh, dating all the way back to the, to the early 60s and before. Uh, they bring with them a number of internationals. In fact, the reason that we've had to move the match up a day was because five of their players have been called up to the English national team who will be competing against the Irish national team a few days after our match. Um, just recently announced uh, Gareth Bale as the MVP of the Premier League, which means you know, the best player in the league this year is, is coming to play right here on this, on this surface in front of uh, Bahamian fans. The match will take place on May 23rd at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.